chaos gripped Bolivia as armored vehicles rammed the doors of the government palace on June 26. After the apparent coup attempt against President Luis R.J., he vowed to stand firm and named a new army commander who ordered troops to stand down. This is the latest crisis in the South American country facing a political battle and an economic crisis. Videos emerged from the scene which showed complete chaos at Plaza Murillo Square, just outside the government building. Within hours, the nation of 12 million people saw a rapidly moving scenario in which the troops seemed to take control of the government. Reports emerged of army vehicles storming the Bolivian government building. President Luis Arce said in a post that an irregular movement was going on in Plaza Murillo. He expressed apprehension that it could be a coup. He vowed to stand firm and named a new army commander who immediately ordered the troops to stand down. Hundreds of Arce's supporters then rushed to the square outside the palace, waving Bolivian flags, singing the national anthem, and cheering. Soon the soldiers pulled back, along with a line of military vehicles, ending the rebellion after just three hours. The soldiers' retreat was followed by the arrest of army chief, General Juan José Zuniga. General Zuniga was reportedly sacked after he said on live television that he would arrest Bolivia's former president, Evo Morales, if the latter ran for presidential elections again. According to media reports, his comments led to Zuniga's sacking. After that, he decided to take on the current government by attempting a coup. Less than an hour later, President Arke announced new heads of the Army, Navy and Air Force amid the roar of supporters and thanked the country's police and regional allies for standing by him. R.C. said the troops who rose against him were staining the uniform of the military. Ahead of the attack on the presidential palace, General Zuniga had addressed reporters in the square and cited growing anger in the landlocked country. Bolivia has been battling an economic slump, with depleted central bank reserves, pressure on its currency as gas exports have dried up. Bolivia's public prosecutor's office said it would launch a criminal investigation against General Zuniga and others involved in the attempted coup. Even conservative political opponents of the government in Bolivia condemned the military action, including ex-president Janine Anez, who was imprisoned in 2022 amid political turmoil. Bolivia has seen intensifying protests in recent months over the economy's precipitous decline from one of the continent's fastest growing to one of its most crisis-stricken. South America has experienced numerous coups and coup attempts throughout its modern history. These events often stem from deep-rooted issues such as economic instability, social inequality, and political corruption. During the 20th century, countries like Chile, Argentina, Brazil, and Peru witnessed military coups that led to the establishment of authoritarian regimes.